Good afternoon, Charlotte River Queen Club. So we're out here in Canmore once again, doing another home. So this time there are three huskies in this home. It's amazing. Okay, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Dude, this is All just, the love. Guy has an Instagram if you want to tag her. Oh, he's actually. <laughs> so this home has a lot of dog hair, and I mean a lot of dog hair here. The areas are extremely matted and you can even see it right in here how the edges are real black just because that's what's untouched but in here it's completely completely matted down going out into these hallways again you can see they're just matted from these traffic areas overall the carpets are in decent condition though the dogs have had a few accidents and you can tell there is a lot of hair in here so we will be doing an animal urine treatment on these carpets, as well as using a very low moisture method to clean up the rest of the carpets, take care of all of the uh, pet hairs. And so I'm expecting this job to turn out really good. Also to have a nice dry time of one to two hours in here and all the doggy urine pulled out from the padding. Let's get it. All right, so we've got the CRB here pulling up all this hair from these carpets. Three huskies once again. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It seems like we've uh, got into a bit of a hairy situation, eh? Okay, yeah, I know. I'm terrible with puns, but oh, whatever. This is just wild. Okay, so we're gonna be treating some urine stains. You can see that it's right there that's lighting up. And so, if you can imagine that this small area of the urine on the top, let's say it's about that big, then in reality it's probably at least twice as big just because it spreads out in the padding. So, one of the first steps we're gonna do is just use some clean hot water and a water cloth, and we're just gonna start to flush it out. So, just pouring that water in. Let it soak into the padding, and we're going to start to remove it all. You see, without even adding any chemicals or anything, you can see that it's already been treated by the owner, and they've noticed the stain, they've added some sort of solution, and that's why we're getting those bubbles. So we're going to do this about two or three times, just to extract as much of the urine as possible. Otherwise, it's almost like trying to clean up trash or garbage without actually moving the garbage. So I'm just gonna do this one more time in here. Perfect. Now on this last one you can already see all that moisture coming out. This is perfect. Alright, so now I've got a 50% diluted unchained, which is a great chemical from TMS. And I'm going to start to fill the whole solution. I'm going to press my nozzle into it, into the carpet, so that it actually penetrates all the way down past the first level. And then just check once again so you know the exact thing right there. And I'm going to fill it. And I'm just going to let it dwell just for a few minutes. This gives time for the chemical solution to actually do its thing. So that's thoroughly filled now with the solution, which is perfect. All right, so this lot had a few minutes to kind of settle in and to let the solution start to do its thing. So I'm gonna put the water clock back onto it. Just for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And pull it off. And that's pretty much it, how to treat urine stains. So you don't remove all the chemical because it needs time to activate. And sometimes, if you might have added a little too much, which could have been the thing, the case right here, you can add a little bit more water to it. 
just gonna pull a little bit more, just to dilute it a little bit and pull some more of it out. And press in, really pull it from the padding, and then that's it. So it's still a little bit damp in there, and that's more than fine, just to let the chemical can completely neutralize all of it. And we pulled out the majority of it already with the water, and it should be good to go. Normally I wouldn't show this, but the color of this water is so filthy, I kind of had to. So we have a lot of foam from our animal removal uh, chemical. But this is what the water is looking like, just from the animal removal. That's just straight urine. Yum. Carpet just turned out real good. We ran the Trinity on it, got rid of the urine stain. Now we're just post trimming it one more time with the vacuum, spraying on some deodorizer. We also like to break the carpet, and then you can see exactly where it's been stopped. So all this carpet is nice and uniform over here. This room turned out really nice. All the hair is gone, traffic area is cleaned up quite a bit. And so we're overall real happy with it. It turned out great, so that's a little animal you're in. So three huskies pulled out about seven or eight bags of hair, so it's quite a lot. But overall, we're really happy with the job, so until next time. <laughs>